little one night stay. It feels quiet and clean. Actually, the old door, hostel and bar's looking pretty nice. Cannabis, get a vibe. Like this, what we've got in here. And you're just dreading what you're gonna come up with. We're so close to some major hot spots. Great location, direct from the airport. Hey, how you doing? Today I'm staying in a hotel as I'm traveling around Taipei. I've got some meetings, I've got some work to do. So I just chose an affordable, price affordable, little one night stay near Taipei main station area. Now, the reason why I chose this kind of hotel stroke hostel is because I make videos for people who are coming over to the country, to Taipei. So I don't want to be staying in four and five star hotels uh, with a swim pool, which I really wanted to today. It's a, it's a nice day for it. I wanted to stay somewhere which may be useful for you when you're coming over. So it actually says that it's 10 minute walk from the main station, metro station. Although you have to go kind of underneath to Taipei City Mall. So here you can see it's Y13 Taipei City Mall and it's kind of like the underground area when you get to Taipei Main Station connecting to Bayman and the airport line as well. Now I'm staying at a place, a hotel stroke hostel called uh, the Main in Taipei. Now the Main in Taipei, I got it for a great price. It's costing me around 640 NT, which is around 16 pound and that makes it just under 20 USD. I look in I'm looking like the part of the backpacker, which is perfect for this location. When you come out of Taipei City Mall Y13, you'll see a street full of more uh, hostels and bars, and you'll see Main Inn, which is the red area. It looks like the MRT line here. So I'm gonna head towards here and see what's going on. Check-in is 4 p.m. It's 3.30 now, I'll see if they can let me in early. Let's take a look. Actually, the old door hostel and bar's looking pretty nice. I'm gonna check out what that's like later, maybe have a beer if I've got time. And here's the main inn sign here. As you can see, I'm gonna take a walk down here later. There's some nice streets with some uh, side cafes, restaurants, and maybe a couple of bars as well. I can see a coffee shop down there already. Okay, so inside now, Taipei main inn, front desk on second floor. Perfect. Push. So far it's really quiet and it's really clean. Unbelievably clean. So I'm 306 right at the end here. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's one of the old-fashioned keys. Let's get some light on. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's have a quick look around and then I'll go into more detail. First impressions, it it is small, which I knew it was going to be anyway, but it seems unbelievably clean. You've got a nice little wardrobe here, three coat hangers, just in case you've got three shirts, a little refrigerator, looks like air conditioning control. You put the key in the electricity there. Bathroom lights are already on. It is really, really clean. It's nice. Toilet rolls filled up. Okay, yeah. It's like a walk-in shower. Nice. And window. Oh, not much of a view. I'll have a look about later. TV. We've got Wi-Fi. Hair dryer. Remote control for TV. Kettle. No complimentary tea or coffee, but you do get complimentary water, which is good. Bed here, big mirror, and I'm guessing that's a big window at the back, which I'll uh, check out later. Is that a lamp? Is there any bulb inside? No. 
boobless. But all in all, look, for what I just paid for, it's okay. Right, so let me go into a bit more detail. Not that it's gonna take a, a large bit of time for the size of it. I was fearing the worst. And uh, I guess, like they say, keep your expectations low and anything above is a bonus, right? I was fearing the worst. And you know what? I'm massively surprised. Yes, there's a few bruised bits on the wall and whatnot and some random stains. But for the price, I came into reception. Well, before I came in, as you saw, that little square is such a nice area. I'm going to take you outside after and uh, see if I can get a beer. The staff was really helpful. The guy was English speaking, really nice. I asked him, look, have you got a, a room with a window? It said on the website there might not be a window. He showed me the room and it's quite a big window. I'll check it out in a minute. And look, it feels quiet and clean and you feel comfortable, which is all you can ask. They've got Wi-Fi, complimentary water, they've got TV and these boxes, I'm, I'm guessing you've got some kind of, uh, normally you get at least one or two movie channels and sports channels like HBO or something like this. So let's have a little look. I mean, this is really fresh, clean. Everything is clean. Look, if you can see it, it's clean. Let's see, clean, good. Toilet roll in place, towels in place. Let's have a look at this water. It's clean, there's not even one single black hair. Mirror's clean as well. I like this, what we've got in here. Oh, it's a very, very easy walk-in shower. Looks good. Shall I see the view from the shower? Not that anyone wants to see me washing my head. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I can see the streets down there. Right, I'll pull that back down later. See, I'm so happy for the price, seriously. This is actually cleaner than a lot. <laughs> what a probably double or triple or even quadruple in price, believe me. Uh, you've got a chair and a small desk if you want to do some work here as well. Let's see how comfortable the chair is. Not bad whatsoever if you wanted to do some work that's why i wanted to show you this because if you wanted it to stay for three four five days even ten days whilst you get yourself sorted with an apartment using my services of course because if you just arrived in taiwan and taipei you need apartment or placement services you'll be hit my website here okay helpfulmat.com but i'm changing the name i've got a couple of different names and there's a list of service packages there which will be useful for you okay shoes off time Let's take a look in the big window. I get more excited about the cheaper, lower rating hotels uh, than I do the four or five star because some of the five star and four stars in Taipei are an absolute con job, absolute scam. Uh, and if you're watching the hotel playlist, Taipei, Taiwan hotel playlist, you'll see what I mean. Ah, oh, this is, I feared there's nothing worse than having no window, right? You feel like, you haven't slept, you wake up and it's still dark, like a bat cave. But here is a huge window, as you can see. This is better window. Seriously, if you go through the hotels on booking.com now in Taipei, you'll see windowless hotel rooms for double the price, almost triple the price. Not much of a view, but hey, I'm not complaining here for this. Not complaining at all. Now, about the price, as I said, I did get a cheap price because on booking.com I've got level three genius uh, rewards. So I do use booking.com every time I book a hotel and I do book quite a lot of hotels uh, around the world. So it is worth, if you're with Agoda or booking.com, to stick with the same one and collect them points. I think I probably saved maybe, what, 200 NT, 300 NT, which is around five to seven pound. It doesn't seem a lot, but it adds up. And if you become a regular, regular loser, <laughs> I am a regular loser. If you become a regular user, you will get added bonuses, benefits such as cheaper accommodation, cheaper car hire and tourist attraction bonus perks as well. Let's test for bed. Bedtime. I like it, not bad.
at all. I've had worse. Let's have a look at the pillow here. First, let's check. Yeah, clean. Everything's clean. I know you shouldn't be surprised. Oh, pillow is a bit soft for my peanut head, but I'll be able to double up. Oh. It's always the case, one's not enough, two's too much. You need one and a half somehow, not bad. But it is really comfortable and it is really clean. It feels clean. You go into some, especially for this price or this price range, and you're just dreading what you're gonna come up with. Uh, I stayed in one uh, before, previously, what just smelled of mold and piss and shit and all different stuff. This is not bad whatsoever. This is just a basic double room. And for the price, like I said, I keep going on about price, it's okay. The actual inn or the hotel doubles up as a hostel. So there are some uh, mixed bunk bedrooms, shared rooms, some female dormitory rooms and some male dormitory rooms. Now, if you're going to stay in one of them, one of them just for a bed, a bunk bed in a, a priced up a mixed room is going to be around 410 NT, which is about £10. And what's that? At 12 or 13 USD so for the sake of like five pound more you can get your own place I know if you're staying for a longer period of time and if you're on a tight budget it may not be ideal but if it is for a few days until you get settled into the country in a central location an upgrade of four or five pound more you know what's that it's four or five pound more 200 NT we're working in NT dollars uh, and you get your own private space, your own private shower. But, you know, cannot complain. Out of all the hotels that I've experienced here in Taipei, for value of money and location and cleanliness, this is up there. I know you're not getting breakfast or a swimming pool, but we can't have everything all the time. Should we take a look outside, see what's going on? Ah, before we go outside, there is no safety deposit box but I believe they have got lockers. Did I see lockers? I will check when I go back down. Let, let me take you back down to reception and have a proper look around. I've just come up to the fifth and sixth floor now where there's uh, public areas here. So as you can see, it looks like they have some kind of coffee facilities. And here are the washing machines. Now, the washing machines are free to use uh, but you do have to buy the powder which you saw uh, the price list downstairs past reception uh, you have to pay for the dryer uh, which is what 50 nt for 45 minutes so just over one pound around one one us dollar 20. but this is a really nice space just to chill out and maybe meet some people and look we've got a, an outdoor chill out area as well let's have a little look there we go. Looks like a smoking area. Yeah, nice breeze here. So it's a good public room, public area to meet some people as well. And it looks like when they do have its staff, look, you can get some coffee here. Not bad whatsoever. There's Taiwan, beautiful. This is more detail what you saw at reception. You can buy, here's the washing powder, a toothbrush set, slippers, and it's really, really affordable as well. Washing powder, 10 NT. So you're looking around, what, uh, 20 NT is 50p. So you're looking at 25 pence. Bath towel as well, 40 NT, one pound. Laundry room opening times. Just outside the hotel now. Hotel, hostel, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to take you for a walk down the street to show you the surroundings. Let's go. So there's some cute little local shops here, some clothes shops. I can see a coffee shop down here. Let's walk towards the coffee shop. Oh, it opens up nicely. I wonder if there's a, a 7-Eleven or Family Mart somewhere. Let's look down here. You can see the big sign coffee. Watch out for scooters. 
Oh, it's not open yet. So the coffee shop isn't open yet. Okay, let's do a loop. I'll, I'll turn back. Looks like some kind of, oh, I missed that. What they got here? Some kind of damping. Some. Oh, a little, a lot of kind of market stuff going on. Yeah, so everything's kind of your old uh, market object stuff. I'm trying to find you a 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven or Family Mart, just so you've got somewhere to uh, satisfy your needs, whatever it may be. It might be some milk, it might be a, a sandwich. Yeah, there isn't any kind of restaurants as such. Uh, but you're not far from everywhere in Main Station. So what I've done, I've just walked to the end of one of the streets yeah here you go now we're on one of the main streets so if you keep walking all the way down you're going to come to a 7-eleven or family mart somewhere down here and remember it all connects up to the main station area as well Bayman and then if you continue down to Bayman you're not far from Sheeman, Sheeman Ding the shopping area so look you're not going to starve from here anyway Now all around you, you are next to a main road, so just be careful of all the traffic passing through. We've got a wholesale plaza down here for a bit of shopping. And there's some new bikes up here as well. So this is towards the hotel again. This is the main road here, and that's Taoyen Airport line, okay? So there you can see Taoyen Airport MRT line, the purple sign. So if you are coming from the airport, it's so easy. You get off at main station from the airport line, Taoyen Airport, and here Y17, where I was before was Y13, there's Y15 exit. So it's really convenient from the airport. What a really good location if you just need to get your bearings. In typical Taipei fashion now, uh, it, it doesn't make sense anymore. And you might think it's cheap coming from where you're coming from, but the bar, the bistro coffee place next to the, uh, the main inn, it's all the craft beer, man. Yeah, fashionable. Five pounds, five pound a bottle. 200 NT a bottle, come on. Why are we charging possible backpackers or travelers? Five pound for a little bottle of craft beer. Taipei is losing their minds slowly and it's becoming all of this nonsense. Just give me a big 660 milliliter of Taiwan beer for 70 NT. 65 NT, one pound 50. Here's some wigs. This is my shop. I could do it with one of these. Nice. And I've just done a full circle. I'm back at uh, Y13 again, exit. Here's some kind of tea shop as well. And uh, oh, look, while I'm here, let's just have a quick walk across the way. I can see Halloween shop over here. Let's see what's cracking off. And there's got to be somewhere where you can get a beer as well. There's Y13, there's a main road. Some slipper and flip flop shop here. Halloween shop. I've not actually been here before, over a decade in Taiwan. Oh yeah, be careful, this is like, not a main road, but there's a zebra crossing, but not a lot of people taking notice. And, uh, Oh yeah, there's a family mart just down here. Yeah, look, you have got everything you need when you come down. Not too far away. You'll be okay. Look, it's, this is a good location when you first land into Taipei. You're not gonna be overwhelmed because this is quite quiet, to be honest. Quite tame. Decent shop here, cannabis. Get a pipe if you want. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Cool. And here's the 7 Eleven on the corner. So, actually, the 7 Eleven, I've just done another circle. If you turn left from here and turn left again, 
Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. If you turn left and turn left again, that's back to where the hotel is. And you've got no end of streets to explore as well. Not bad whatsoever. Back from my walk outside and as I walked around and got my bearings a little bit more, the more I realised this location isn't bad whatsoever. So I walked for what around five minutes, maybe a little bit over five minutes, which would take what, a couple of minutes cycle if you can get a, a, a U-bike to Bayman. Now Bayman is on the green line and if you keep walking, you get to the riverside, which has a load of bars as well. You're not far from Sheeman, Sheeman Ding, which has a load of bars. There's bars and restaurants and coffee shops around if you walk a little bit further out uh, from what I did when I just went around the block, which you saw. So make sure if you are heading here, you look on Google Maps around you because you're so close to some major hotspots. Great location direct from the airport. The airport line is just across the road, a few minutes walk. So I've had a shower. The shower is absolutely brilliant. Right temperature, right power, if that's what you call it when the water comes out the nozzle. And I'm getting ready. Oh, there's me in the, in the window. <laughs> and I'm going to get ready for bed. I'm going to see how good a nice sleep I get and I'll report back to you in the morning. See you later. Still try and turn the lights off. Right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> That's the wrong one. See you tomorrow. No, see you tomorrow. Okay. Morning. Very, very nice sleep. Good sleep, comfortable bed, comfortable pillows. The air conditioning is really good temperature, really strong. Uh, Noise-wise, I didn't hear much noise whatsoever, but I do have my uh, I always take my white noise machine. White machines, it is, white noise machine. So I don't hear anything apart from that anyway. There was a few uh, uh, bits of banging because look, if there's hostel rooms with shared uh, rooms of six to eight people, there's gonna be some noise from different individuals. But it wasn't bad whatsoever. The AC does make a little buzzing noise. Apart from that, Everything's superb. I'm going to get some breakfast and start the day uh, after a little run around the local area. Maybe I'll go to the river. So if you found this video interesting and you want to see more videos on Taipei and Taiwan hotels and living in Taiwan, you want to be hitting the playlist right now. <laughs>